percent of increase and decrease. What this is talking about is, is if you if you had a number, and then and then it changed into either a larger number or a smaller number. Let's say eight turns into thirteen. It's going to how does it get from an eight to thirteen? Well, it has to increase. Something has to be added to it. So. So the percent of increase or de decrease, this is, is, it's measuring the percent of change. Percent of change. Now, if you had another number, let's say, let's say you had 7 and it changed into a 5. Well, this is actually going to be a decrease because... 5 is less than 7, so something has to have been taken away from it. So this would be a decrease. So you have a decrease, percent of decrease, and then increase. And what we're going to learn how to do in this lesson is, is calculate the percent of increase and the percent of decrease. So not only do we recognize whether or not a number is going up or down, but we want to measure in terms of percent how much it's changing. So let's take a look at this first one. If we have 8 and it changes to a 13, we want to find, well, what percent of 8 did we add on to itself in order to equal 13? And, and there's a simple formula we can, we can learn here, and it is the percent of change, we'll call it P percent, percent of change, and that's what we're trying to find, the percent of change, that's going to equal the amount of increase or decrease, amount of increase or decrease, over over the original amount okay so for this this first one 8 is our original amount so it's going to be percent equals 8 is the original amount and then the amount of increase or decrease well how much did it go up so how do you get from an 8 to a 13 we have to add something. We have to add 5. So 5 is going to be our amount of increase. So it's going to be 5. And then, and then so our percent of change as a fraction is just going to be 5 eighths, but we want to show it as a percent. So we can do 5 divided by 8. 5 divided by 8. And 8 doesn't go into 5, so we're going to have to add a decimal and a 0. It does go into 50 six times, because 6 times 8 is 48. And then you'll, 50 minus 48 is 2. Bring down a 0. It goes into 20 two times. So that would be 16. 20 minus 16 is 4. Bring down another 0. And then 8 goes into 40 five times. So you have 5 eighths is the same thing as 0.625 or 625 thousandths. Or we can write that as a percent. Remember, with a percent, you just take the decimal and move it to the right two spaces. So it becomes 62.5%. And that's the percent of change. The percent of increase would be 62.5%. Let's look at the second one, 7 to 5. <clears throat> so this is a decrease. So we're going to use the same, the same formula, the same equation. We're going to have our percent equals, well, the original amount goes on the bottom. Our original amount in this case is 7. And then the percent of decrease, or the amount of decrease, well, we, we had to take away 2. We had to subtract 2 to get from a 7 to a 5. So it's going to be 2 on the top in the numerator. 
So we have two in the numerator, seven in the denominator, and we want to change this, well, first to a decimal and then to a percent. So two divided by seven. Two divided by seven. Well, seven doesn't go into two, so we have to add our decimal. Seven does go into 20 two times. And two times seven is 14. 20 minus 14 is six. Add another des or another zero and bring it down. 7 goes into 60 8 times, and 8 times 7 is 56. 60 minus 56 is 4, so you bring down another 0. And 7 goes into 40 5 times. 5 times 7 is 35. And it's going to keep going. 7 times 7 is 49. And we'll stop there. What we're going to do is round to the nearest tenth of a percent. So, so two sevenths is about is approximately 0.2857, which we can round. We can round that to 0.286, and then change that to a percent. Remember, just move the decimal over to the right twice. And that's one way of thinking of it, but remember, changing a decimal to, to a percent, you're just multiplying it by 100. So 286 thousandths becomes 28.6%. So, and that's the percent of decrease, the, the amount, the percent of change, or the percent of decrease is 28.6%.